Welcome to Highland School of Technology. I am Josh Allen, the assistant principal here, and we are here today to celebrate our National Blue Ribbon School Award. So I, I got to tell you, this is a really big deal, and we're going to need you to be a lot happier than that. So we are here today to celebrate our National Blue Ribbon School Award. That's better. Thank you to our band and cheerleaders for helping to set the stage for our festivities this morning. We have an exciting program planned for you. As you enter the auditorium, you are given a blue ribbon. At the appropriate times, please join us in applauding our presenters and waving your ribbon in celebration. So let's give it a try. Highland School of Technology is a national blue ribbon school. To illustrate the caliber of our students at our school, when Highland was named a National Blue Ribbon School, two of our graphics students took the initiative to create a video of what it means to be a Blue Ribbon School. Let's take a look. Every morning, I get to walk into a National Blue Ribbon School Wondering, what exactly is a National Blue Ribbon School? National Blue Ribbon Schools are in the top 15% of schools in the entire nation, with only 342 being picked out of over 100,000. The one of those 342 schools that were selected was my very own, the Highland School of Technology. Highland was chosen to do its status as the only A plus school in Gaston County, as well as our 100% graduation rate. Highland couldn't achieve this honor without the help of its talented, motivated staff. They come in early and leave late to ensure the academic success of our students. And our various technological capabilities allow us to exceed our performance expectations. For these reasons and countless others, Highland Tech is a National Blue Ribbon School. Great job, students. Please join me in acknowledging Kaysen Sellers and Lauren Snyder for their outstanding work. If our presenters would please make their way to the stage at this time. Next, we will have our Pledge of Allegiance led by students Judah Tucker and Landon Burr. join us in saying the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with, li with liberty and justice for all. Now I present to you our student body president and homecoming queen, Carly Ballard. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Judah, Landon, and Carly. And now to welcome you and recognize our special guests is Denise McLean, principal of Highland School of Technology. Good morning. And it is my honor and privilege to welcome you on behalf of the faculty and staff, student body of Highland School of Technology, a world-class school educating world-class students. We welcome you to a history-making event as we celebrate the prestigious National Blue Ribbon School Award. The, the United States Department of Education bestows this designation on schools for one of two reasons, for having very high learning standards or for significant growth in closing the achievement gap. Well, Highland is proud to accept this award based on our outstanding academic learning standards that lead our students to excellence in the classroom, with extracurricular activities, athletics, and in real world experiences. Now, Highland students have a rich history of, of doing good things working hard, performing well on state and national assessments, winning state and national competitions. We have a 100% graduation rate. We'll achieve high growth. We are a school of distinction, an exemplary school. We learned an A plus, no gap on the state report card grade. And we would achieve the notable Model Schools of Excellence Award. These and all other accomplishments of the past 17 years form the foundation of the award that we celebrate here today. Yesterday on Ram TV, Seth Lyle said it best when he said, this is a really big deal. You know how he does that, this is a really big deal. <laughs> well, <laughs> where are you Seth? Where are you Seth? Yeah, a really big deal, good, thank you. <laughs> Well, let me try to illustrate just how big of a deal this award is. Out of over 100,000 schools in the nation, only 342 schools received this award. Only six of those schools were in North Carolina, and Highland School of Technology, located in the heart of Gaston County, brought home one of those Blue Ribbon School awards. So. But if I may, let me give you one more example of just how big of a deal this is. At the award ceremony in Washington, D.C., this statistic was, was given. Take the top one-fourth of the top 1% 1 of schools in the nation and compare it to the number of high school football players, a student stands a better chance of becoming a professional athlete than a school has becoming a national blue ribbon school. So how's that for a math problem? We need to work that one out, yes. So Seth, you're right, this is a really big deal. And it's a big deal for our students sitting in the auditorium today. This award symbolizes their efforts, their commitment that they make to accept the academic challenges, to grow and master the content, and to always strive to their personal best, and I'm proud of our students. This Covington Award is also a big deal for our teachers and staff members who are dedicated to providing quality instruction to our students. They guide our students to excellence by creating innovative lessons to meet the needs of our students while supporting and encouraging them along the way. Teachers and staff members, thank you for the work that you do. I'm so very proud of you. Finally, this is a really big deal for our stakeholders. We would not be here today without a host of people in our audience. Our visionary leaders who started this school, our business partners, our former staff members, our alumni, Gaston County School Central Office Administrators, our parents, and all of our local, state, and national government representatives. We recognize that their support and contributions to Highland School of Technology are instrumental to our success. And in, in this season of Thanksgiving, we come together as a community to share and celebrate the success here today. At this time, it is my esteemed honor to welcome our superintendent. Last year, he was named the Southwest Region Superintendent of the Year. Please join me in welcoming Mr. W. Jeffrey Booker. Thank you, Ms. McLean. Good morning. All right, I'm with Mr. Allen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. It is a pleasure to be here this morning to celebrate. Anybody ready to celebrate? Yes. yes. 
Because as it has been said, today is one of the most important recognitions that any school in the United States can receive. To be one of 342 is something to celebrate. Public and private K schools throughout our country have shown that earning this honor is significant. It shows progress in closing the achievement gap. It shows progress in all achievement. What does Highland stand for, folks? Achievement. Achievement. We are here because of significant achievement. If you've done any reading on Highland, year after year, it ranks as one of the most successful schools, not in Gaston County, not in North Carolina, not in the United States, but in the world. Beginning in 2006, the state of North Carolina began to recognize people for graduation rate. This school has earned a 100% graduation rate in 2008, 2010, 2012, 2015, 2016, and 2017. Yes. Additionally, when you begin to take about the state performance grades that were begun in 2014 and 15, this school has either been an A or an A plus in each of those years. This year, you added the distinction of the NG, which that ranking, very few people understand, means all students, all demographic groups received proficiency. Very few schools attain an A plus and an NG. Two weeks ago, I had the privilege to join Ms. McLean and English teacher Jamie Webb in Washington, D.C. That was the official day that the National Blue Ribbon Award was given to the Highland School of Technology. Today, I can tell you this celebration makes that one look like a gathering under a tree. <laughs> Because what this celebration means today is a recognition of our community. When you look at all the people that have come from throughout the leadership of our county to recognize what this means to your school, you recognize how big a day today is. That's why it is something that we all should recognize as an honor. So I want to take a moment and I'm going to ask all of the students, would you please stand? Now, all of you didn't get here by accident. You got here through a choice. You went through an application. Hey, stay with me now. You went through a choice process. You filled out an application. You said, I want to be a part of something special, and I'm going to make it special. But that didn't happen in one day. So I want you to look around at the other people that are here the faculty members, parents, leaders, and take a moment and recognize your pursuit of excellence in academics, leadership, and community service didn't just begin today. It began when they had a vision for this day. So give them a round of applause and thank them for you being able to be here. Okay? Now I'm going to ask you something. When Cam Newton throws a touchdown pass, is that how you clap? All right, so I want you to say thank you to these folks for you being able to be here. Give them a round of applause. Very good. You may be seated. Now, there are two people with us this morning that are not going to like what I'm about to do. But Mr. Medford and Mr. Warren, would you please stand up? These folks deserve a strong, strong round of applause because they were community leaders that said, our county deserves the best. And they formed the, community, the committee that raid the vision for the school. Give them a loud round of applause.
So, applause is a great thing for today. Praise and celebration, because being named a Blue Ribbon School does not happen often. Here in Gaston County, we've had the fortunate pleasure, this is our third Blue Ribbon School. In 1980, uh, since it began in 1982, we have had, in 2006, W.A. Bess, and in 2003, the former Arlington School each had received a Blue Ribbon Award. So this community, we know what it means to strive to be recognized as the best. So today, what we have known, that the Highland School of Technology is an international school, gets recognized for its world-class students, its world-class teachers, and now it has the banner to solidify that designation. So I encourage us all to not just celebrate today, but to celebrate tomorrow and the weeks and the months ahead, because what I believe is the children seated in this auditorium with us today will continue to raise the bar for academic excellence in our community. And we should tell everyone that we have the best of the best. And remember that this award reflects our entire school community because each of these students began in all of our communities and mi migrated here to Highland. So the Board of Education and everyone in Gaston County Schools joins me, Ms. McLean, in saying congratulations to the Highland School of Technology. Thank you, Mr. Booker. Here to provide perspectives on what it means to be a national Blue Ribbon School are Lee Dedman from the Gaston County Schools Board of Education, who also served as principal of Highland School of Technology from 2000 to 2013. Larry Bumgardner, who served as a Highland Advisory Board member since 2000. Melanie Weaver, a teacher who built the bridge from Highland Junior High to Highland School of Technology. Jason Osameka, senior class president and student leader, and finally, Dr. Stephanie Lowry, parent, PTSO past president, and advocate for Highland School of Technology. I'm sorry that I have to make this a little bit taller, but it's not gonna stay. First of all, good morning. I like that you've learned really well. It's a good job, good job. It's an honor to be here this morning representing the Board of Education, but perhaps more important to me personally is that I'm here as the school's former principal. I had the wonderful opportunity to be at Holland for 13 years. And throughout that time, I enjoyed leading this incredible school. When I came to Holland School, it was all new for all of us. It was Gaston County's first magnet school. We brought students together from all across the county. Our vision was to establish a top-rate, comprehensive, technical high school for our community. Needless to say, we've accomplished our vision. It was challenging in the beginning, and it's still challenging today. Excellence is not a destination. It's a continuing journey that never ends. It was our responsibility to establish high standards, expectations, ensure high quality programs for students, employ the best educators, and build a strong sense of community. We had a lot of people, teachers, parents, community and business leaders, elected officials, and many others, working to make Highland School of Technology the best it could be. We are so proud of Highland the school will always be a special place for me. Even though I have retired, my heart still beats blue and gold. <laughs> I like this, this is really smart. <laughs> Simply the best, that's a very familiar phrase that has been embraced Highland for many years. And today they're recognized for their continuing efforts. You have always been the best that exists and strive to make it better. We are confident that Howell will continue to build on its legacy of world-class academics and programs for students. And we know that there will be many more honors and awards for Holland. Congratulations on being named a Blue Ribbon School. I'm extremely proud 
to have been part of this school's overwhelming success. And now as a member of the Gaston County Board of Education, I continue to support you and beam with pride as you continue to seize excellence. Congratulations to Holland School of Technology. You are simply the best. Good morning. I broke out my uh, blue and yellow tie just for today. How about that, huh? So as, so as Assistant Principal Mr. Allen said, I, I serve on the uh, advisory board here at Highland. And I want to say a big thanks to Mr. Debman and Ms. McLean for allowing me to have this opportunity. Uh, it's been over 15 years now. Unbelievable. So it's been a great uh, opportunity for me. For someone who grew up in Gaston County, has lived here all my life, worked here all my life, uh, I'm always looking for ways to give back. So this was an excellent opportunity for me. I've served in the uh, information technology profession for many years. Do we have some IT people, computer folks out there today in the academy? Yeah, here we go. It's been, uh, it's been wonderful for me to be able to um, meet so many other fellow business professionals and uh, meet the academy coordinators and learn from them along the way. I'm very thankful for this opportunity and I'm thankful for many other things. Uh, one, being on the board, we've got to create several wonderful things for the school uh, as being, again, in the IT Academy. We've been able to have internships for the students. How many of you got to do internships? Yeah? So what a great opportunity, right? To be able to go out into the workforce, learn about it. And what's been great for us as, as a business partner, I've been able to bring some of you into our work. And it's amazing how much you learn, how much we learn, and how much we benefit from having you involved. So thank you for that. We also have had the mock interview process, so that's been great for those who want to start thinking about jobs down the road. And we've had a very successful golf tournament that's raised a lot of money for the school. So we appreciate everyone who's been involved with that. I also want to say a big thanks to the staff, the teachers, the academy coordinators. I've established a lot of great relationships over the years with many of them. And as being married to a teacher for almost 30 years, I know the effort and the work that goes into you know, preparing for their assignments and for them to have these great students teach you and, and to you know, have these roles, it's been great to see. And I also want to thank the students. I've been real fortunate that as part of my family, my nephews graduated here from Highland. So, and they've gone on to successful careers, so yes. But I know how much of a challenge it is. You leave friends, you leave established territories, you come into a brave new world, and you're really not sure sometimes how it's going to work out. But guess what? You establish new relationships. You get to take courses that you wouldn't get to take at regular schools. And then you get these opportunities to not only do well here, but to do well as you progress. It's been great for me to get to know a lot of the students and to see how successful you have been throughout not only here, but as you move forward. So again, today, thank you for this opportunity, and a big congratulations to Highland for a National Blue Ribbon School recognition. Hey, guys. Everybody asked me this morning, are you nervous? And I said, no, but guess what? I am now, so okay. <laughs> do this every day, but it's a little bit bigger audience. In 1997, I started working in Gaston County Schools as an eighth grade language arts teacher at Highland Junior High School. I was in Mr. Yavilak's room. It was a life-altering experience for many reasons. However, it closed the same year that I started. Flash forward three years, and Highland School of Technology was opening in 2000, and I decided 
I'll apply. The teachers and students accepted a spot at Highland before the school was even finished. We were risk takers. We only had freshmen and sophomores that year, and we had absolutely no sports. All of our students had to leave during fourth period to go back to their feeder schools to be able to play sports. So all you teachers that complain when we have to leave for sports, it was worse. <laughs> <laughs> that year was full of a lot of challenges, but we started building relationships and we overcame the challenges together. For the next five years, at least, we were constantly in a fishbowl with visitors coming almost weekly to see how we were changing education in Gaston County. It was exciting and challenging. We achieved milestone after milestone and were recognized for many accolades. We never rested on our laurels, but instead set new goals. I can remember thinking at the end of every year, how can we do better than this year? But our hard work paid off every year. Our attitude was easily transferred to our students. They became accustomed to being a, at the top and they challenged the next class to do better. This attitude is what has propelled us to today for this celebration. We knew back in 2000 that we were a school of excellence. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation realized it in 2003. Our state recognized us as such for numerous years and the Blue Ribbon Schools of Excellence program has confirmed it. When I started at HST, I couldn't see the future. I thought this would be a stepping stone and I would eventually move on to an administrative position. But I knew early on that HST is where Mama Weaver belonged. <laughs> when I see former students, they ask if I'm still at Highland and I always reply, where else would I be? I have something in common with our student body. The decision I made to apply to HST is one of the best decisions I have ever made. I am privileged to have worked with some of the most dedicated and innovative teachers and educators. I am lucky to have taught some of the most interesting and motivated students in my career. There are only a few of us that are from the original group that started Highland School of Technology. It, when I call your name, if you will please stand. Nina Wilhelm, who just retired last week from finance. <laughs> Jackie Arthur, who still serves your food in the cafeteria. <laughs> Rachel Martin, who has been in IT, a teacher, and now an academy coordinator. And Nancy Talaferro, Miss T, who is a leader in our Manufacturing and Engineering Academy. I have been the only 10th grade English teacher at HST, and I am the only teacher who can proudly say a couple of things. One. I'm the only one who closed Highland School, Junior High School and reopened Highland School of Technology. And I am the only teacher that has taught every single HST graduate. In addition to those who started this great school, Every student and staff member that has attended or worked at HST over the last 17 years has contributed to this recognition. In closing, I am proud to say that I am a Ram. Our colors are blue and gold, which is a perfect fit for a blue ribbon school with a golden reputation. See how that ties together? Remember when I taught you essays how it's got to tie together? I have made some awesome memories over the past 17 years, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds as we continue to set the bar high and work together to be the best we can be. Go Rams! Good morning. Good morning. 
My name is Jason Esameka, your senior class president. When the National Blue Ribbon School honor was bestowed upon Highland School of Technology, an electrified aura resonated through the halls as our principal, Ms. McLean, proclaimed the news with an excitement and a pride so heavy, so real and tangible that you could practically reach out and grasp it. Schools granted this honor are required to be progressive, rigorous, and devoted to the development of their students. Over my four years here, I have observed that this devotion to the growth of each individual in the student body is truly what makes the home of the blue and gold unique. It means a lot to the student body to have been recognized for this high distinction. In the classroom, students have a profound respect for the teachers of Highland School of Technology. This respect stems from multiple areas. Teachers at Highland are so readily accessible for any student. This is shown by the remarkable dedication Mr. Renegar has to being at the school at 745 almost every morning, driving all the way from Hickory, North Carolina, and then leaving school sometimes an hour after school gets out, simply to assist his students navigate their way with all the questions in the world through the brutal curriculum of AP Calculus. <laughs> As a student, one can only admire the collaborative efforts that teachers make to create an expansive learning environment through integrated lessons. Just recently, I have been able to partake in a combined lesson with current freshmen as we worked on our interviewing skills. I was granted the opportunity to delve into the mind of my younger peers, overcoming the potential age barrier. This was made possible by the work of my AP literature teacher, Mrs. Maxwell, and the ninth grade world history teacher, Mr. Boyles. Students' relationships with faculty are not restricted to the classroom, however, as our teachers and our counselors strive to inspire students to understand the benefits of becoming a lifelong learner. They are genuinely interested in our personal growth. I cannot tell you the number of teachers who seem to have taken the students under their wing. For example, I know of a classmate of mine who through her love of political science and her involvement in moot court has obtained a great relationship with our civics and economics teacher, Mrs. Ballard. Or another classmate of mine, who through her love of chemistry and collecting a wide spectrum of knowledge through participation in Quiz Bowl, has a remarkable relationship with our chemistry teacher, Mr. Paget. Personally, I have made powerful relationships with various faculty members, such as our basketball coach, who has assisted me in developing not only as an athlete, but as a man in Coach Forche. Our marketing teacher, who through countless presentations, has allowed me to have the skills to be able to speak to you, and Mrs. Gallagher, and individuals who have taken great interest in helping me become readily prepared for college and life after, and Ms. Webb, Mr. Yavilak, and our counselors, Dr. Presley and Mr. Chapman. The key here is our teacher's willingness to be great teachers while being outstanding mentors. Through my eyes, the student body is just as crucial to the unique learning environment at Highland. Students are undoubtedly of a different breed. As through my experiences, we have cultivated a social scene that is not only fun, but is a space where learning is habitually promoted. I have a particular memory that stands out to me dating back to my freshman year on the varsity basketball team, where on the way back from a game very late at night, a senior felt comfortable enough to speak to the youngest player on the team about how his basketball background and the single physics class he took that year spurred him to pursue a career in sports injury and prevention as he began to understand the science behind an ACL rupture. Or very recently, as a great number of seniors in my lunch constantly find ourselves discussing grandiose concepts and problems at the picnic table, ranging from legal nuance in Denmark to the incarceration rates in the United States, simply because we find it interesting. I am proud to be a member of a group of students who think critically, who bring forth a per variety of perspectives from different backgrounds and real world experiences in their homes and communities, and who care about the well-being of others. To me, this is one of the reasons why Hi Highland School of Technology is a national blue ribbon school. Of course, our parents who have enrolled us in this school deserve a great amount of acknowledgement and thanks for allowing us to be a part of this family. Likewise, our counselors, academy coordinators, and our administrative staff are held to the highest tier of respect for the work that they put in, day in, day out, year after year. 
But finally, on behalf of the entire student body, I would like to thank Assistant Principal Allen, Principal McLean, and Superintendent Booker, all of whom I have great relationships with. I'd also like to thank all of the dignitaries in attendance, all of the mayors of the Gaston County Townships, and the Honorable Kathy Harrington, for not only overseeing this operation of academic excellence, but for caring for each and every one of my colleagues. My father and mother once told me, it takes a village to raise a child. This village deserves an extravagant and illustrious blue ribbon for its efforts. Thank you. Wow, that's a tough act to follow, I think. <laughs> Good morning. And Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and thank you, Ms. McLean, for inviting me to be here for the opportunity to represent the parents of our Highland family. It's truly my pleasure and my privilege to stand here before you today. First, I, I have to say congratulations to the students the faculty, the administration, and the staff for achieving this esteemed honor. Congratulations. As Mr. Allen said, my name is Stephanie Lowry, and I have been lucky enough to have two children attend Highland, one who graduated in 2016, and one who is going to be graduating this year. You, as Jason said, you've heard the expression, it takes a village. Well, here at Highland, I believe it takes the whole family. Yes, I use the word family to describe the environment that surrounds everyone here at Highland. From the first day students walk in the front door until they wear their cap and gown and cross the stage, there is a distinct sense of belonging. <laughs> The compassion and concern the teachers show is clear and evident. They always have the best interest of our students at heart and are willing to go above and beyond the call of duty regularly. The drive and determination of Highland students is unmistakable. I personally have had the opportunity to work with some of the Dental Pathway students and even the opportunity to be a judge for some of their school projects. And their knowledge and their skills is absolutely unmistakable. And not last but not least, of course, the behind the scenes work that is done by our administration and our staff does not go unnoticed by us Highland parents. Anytime we have a question or I've had a question or need assistance with any project, Ms. McLean, Mr. Allen, and Ms. Hildebrand, they are always there in a hurry to help out. All of these things, I believe, at Highland come together in concert to create a symphony I like to call the Highland family. As a parent, I have watched my own two Highland students evolve into confident young adults ready to pursue their career goals. What more could a parent ask of their child's high school experience? To me, this is educational success. And I am most grateful to have been a part of this Highland family. Again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you all for sharing your stories about Highland and what it means to be a National Blue Ribbon School. You know, one of my favorite times of the year is graduation, to have students to come on stage. Well, this is not graduation today, but I have an opportunity to have people to come on stage while I present something to them. So at this time, with the faculty and staff, please join me on stage to receive your Blue Ribbon pin.
kids out there. Mr. Mooney and Mr. Wilson, come on down. You're part of our staff. Any other staff members in the auditorium? If you would please join me with pride and let's put on our blue ribbon pins. And while we're standing, students, the next thing that I was going to say, if you would stand so that we can recognize you. Thank you. <laughs> now for some special music that will be performed by our course under the direction of Mr. W. Caleb Revis.
Thank you, Cors. That was beautiful. Mr. Revis, thank you. So at this time, we are going to um, have some of our guests to present some presentations to our school. And I'm going to start by asking Mrs. Webb to come forward to help me to present an award. So at this time, we would like to present the U.S. Department of Education Award and the blue ribbon flag given to our school when we traveled to our nation's capital a few weeks ago. Presentations will come in this order as listed on the program, starting with Mr. Booker, then Kimberly Witherell from the PTSO, Karen Pinckney from Carolina Photography, and we are waiting for our guest from Bluebell Creamery. So if they get here, we'll have them come in that order. Mr. Booker. Okay. Last night, the Board of Education recognize this achievement and I wanted to present the plaque officially to Ms. McLean presented to the Highland School of Technology in recognition of your National Blue Ribbon School Award signed by the Chairman Kevin Collier. Thank you so much. Good morning, my name is Kim Witherell, and I'm a part of the Parent Student Teacher Organization. On the behalf of the Highland PTSO, we would like to donate this National Blue Ribbon <coughs> Banner to the Highland School of Technology. It's an honor to receive this prestigious award. And we're extremely proud of our teachers, our students, and our administration and staff, and additionally, our alumni. Thank you. Hello, I am Karen Penke. And I am with Carolina Photography and Yearbook. On behalf of Carolina Photography, we congratulate the students, Ms. McLean, and the faculty for a great job. And we would like for the outstanding performance, or academic performance. We would like to present you with a montage to com commemorate the Blue Ribbon Award. <coughs> Thank you very much. You come get it. Mm -hmm. The one thing I will say, you each are in this photograph, this montage, three times. Every student, teacher, and faculty member is represented three times. So over 1,700 pictures went into making this montage. Thank you all for sharing in our success today. Highland School of Technology made history, and it is an honor to share this with you.